hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Stella Simbi and if you're new you're welcome and please subscribe and if you're already subscribed but thank you so much for coming back you are the best so in today's video guys I'm going to show you how I did this quick 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 easy natural hairstyle so let's get into the tutorial So these are the things that I'm going to be using my gel beads, comb, yarn and my crochet. Yeah, so firstly I'm going to start off by sectioning the part that I'm going to be braiding right here at the front guys. I did not conroll my hair. I did the needle and thread method guys. And it was looking like I did cornrows but I did not. Yeah, so if you don't know how to cornroll this method is for you. Yeah, so I'm just going to uh, apply the gel to make it easier to open a sharp line. And then I'm going to divide the hair right here at the front into two. So just tie the back section. We'll go to it later on. Yeah, right here, divide into two and then apply your gel and divide your hair again like that. And then I'm going to apply gel on my hair and then I'm going to apply right here at the front. And then I'm going to take my comb and then I'm going to divide the hair into two. After dividing the hair into two, I'm going to put my uh, wool inside and then I'm going to start sewing guys. So doing this needle and thread method is going to give you like a uh, illusion of a stitch cornrow. Yeah, I love it guys. I love it and I'm going to try it again like on my entire head and see how it looks. Yeah, so I'm going to pass my needle through like that and then I'm going to pass it on the same position again. Yeah, and then I'm going to continue to do it going down. Yeah, so guys, just pass your needle through small sections and it's going to give you an illusion of a uh, stitch braids. Yeah, so I'm just going to continue. If you don't know how to corner this method right here, it is for you guys. It is for you. So I'm just going to continue until I reach where I want uh, the corner to stop and then I'm going to braid the hair down. So for braiding the hair down, I'm going to use this wool again. So I'm going to let you watch guys. I'm going to repeat the same thing on this other side just put your wool inside of your hair and then uh, start sewing going uh, in small sections so that you can get an illusion of stitch braids Guys, when you reach the part that you stop sewing, we're going to tie that. And then we're going to be using our wool again to do the braid that we want to put our beads on. Yeah, so on each braid, I did nine strands of wool, guys. Uh, so just cut the ends right there and then take nine strands or full and divide it into three like that so i'm going to separate my hair into three sections like that and then i'm going to start uh braiding so i'm adding my wool uh down there like under and then i'm going to braid one braid two and then take my wool place it under and then braid again and then place uh the third one so in total i had nine uh nine plus the other one that we use for sewing so 10 strands of wool guys and when i reach the ends i'm going to tie where i want it to stop and then uh the braid was a little bit thicker than the beads i had i saw that they were very 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 small after i was done braiding yeah so i'm going to section my braid into three like that and then i'm going to cut off some of the wool so that my beads can enter yeah, so just uh, divide your wool and then cut off some of it. So for the beads, guys, I'm going to place 10 beads on each braid. Yeah, so I'm going to start with five. I'm just putting it on my crochet and then walk your wool and then push your beads through like that. And then take the other five and do the same thing, guys. Yeah, so like that, take the other five and then uh push it into your wool like that guys and remember to leave one 
full uh at the top right there guys because the beads did not enter the part that we tied yeah so the wood that is at the top right there i'm going to be using it to wrap around the uh, part that i cut off right there that i cut off the other wool uh, so if your beads are big enough to enter that part there's no need to leave an extra wool at the top that you used to wrap around you just put your beads and then cut uh, the thread that will be under the beads yeah so I'm just going to wrap around right there and then I'm going to cut off the excess and then we're going to do the back guys yeah so this is how the front is looking like so for the back guys I'm going to be applying my gel like a little bit a little 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 bit of gel guys because i want my hair to look neat i don't want it to look slick i just want it to look neat right here at the front guys so if you want it to uh to be slick you can apply more but i wanted it to be neat and laying like neatly yeah so i'm just uh brushing my hair to the back uh the gel i used is iso plus styling gel yeah so i'm just going to take my thread i'm going to double it my who oh, sorry i'm going to double it and then i'm going to crisscross it right there once and then i'm going to start pulling both sides guys pull both sides and push right there at the back so that uh your hair can be tied and if you're satisfied with uh, how big your bun is you can then tie your wool and then cut off the excess yeah so keep pulling until you are satisfied when you're satisfied just tie your wool at the back and then use your scissors to cut it off guys it's so easy to make this bun guys in fact this hairstyle is really easy at the front you don't need to corn roll you just need to do your needle and thread uh flat twist so right here i'm just going to take my afro comb and then i'm just going to comb my hair So guys you can stop right here if you want it to be like just simple like this but i wanted more beads at the top guys so i took my wool and then i placed my beads right there on the wool and then i just measured it to be like enough to cover the front the back doesn't matter so like that just place it on top right there and then just tie your wool at the back guys this gave it some extra extra <laughs> yeah so this is how it's looking guys do let me know what you think about this natural hairstyle are you going to try it out let me know in the comment section down below what you think and if you're new to the channel subscribe and join the family and if you're already subscribed but thank you so much for coming back you are the best guys don't forget to like comment and share this video i will see you guys in my next tutorial goodbye thank you for watching